Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's Sandra Social. Um, I see everyone's filing in, so um, I'm very excited for all of you to join. Um, for those of you who are returning, um, welcome back. And for those of you who are new, welcome, welcome. Um, if, if you are new, shout yourselves in the chat. Um, we love to welcome newbies, so I'm very excited to have you on the call. I see a lot of familiar faces um, or familiar names, I should say, in the chat. So hello to all of you folks that I um, remember, uh, Rev, Nicole, uh, we have a lot of folks, Amber, um, I see you guys. So welcome, welcome. Um, and before we get started, um, just a reminder, take a peek at your Zoom and make sure your chat is set to everyone. Um, oftentimes it is set to hosts and panelists. So um, we want to make sure that it's set to everyone. Um, I am joining you from San Francisco. Um, it's a very sunny, sunny day in San Francisco. I spent the weekend in Napa Valley and had a wonderful, wonderful wine weekend. It was beautiful, all the fall vibes. Um, so it was wonderful. And joining me in um, the chat is my co-host, Bailey, who's dialing in from the Nashville area. So everyone say hello to Bailey. She's giving you a big old wave. Um, look at that smile. <laughs> she just brightens my day. <laughs> so everyone say hi to Bailey. Um, we will all get started in a few. So make sure to grab your October journal um, and grab something to write with. And we will get started and we'll be talking about perseverance um, in the beginning and then we will move on to our rosebud thorn exercise and then we'll move on to the weekly setup. Okay, so lots to go through. So perseverance. So um, perseverance is a great, great topic. I think it's very fitting. Um, I feel like I love this. I just love turning back to the definition on page three, persistence in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. So how do we persevere? How do we show up for ourselves in challenging times? Um, how do we find kind of that drive, that determination to um, achieve our goals, even though that we might take a step back once in a while. So think about perseverance from that context. Um, we will do our mind map as our intro activity, but we will um, kind of think about how persever perseverance um, is like has been pre uh, prevalent within our lives and how we've shown up for ourselves in our past. Um, so um, we will now move on to the community guidelines. I'm gonna quickly run through these. Um, so just remember, be kind and courteous to yourself and others, no promotions or spam, respect everyone's privacy, um, no hate speech or bullying. If you have any product or accessory questions and customer care inquiries, uh, email hello at silkandsaunder.com. And just remember that these Saunders socials are a way for us to connect with each other and really get to know one another. And I know I tend to be very vulnerable in these uh, Saunders socials. So I encourage you to also, if you feel comfortable, do the same. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm very excited to get started. All right. So um, for the agenda, we'll walk through the Perseverance mind map. And if folks... Um, haven't come to the past weekly setup socials, that's totally fine. Um, I uh, will encourage you to just focus on this week's prompt um, and focus area, and you can always revisit the past two weeks if you feel inclined. Um, and then we'll move on to our rosebud thorn, um, and then we'll obviously dive into our weekly setup before we close out the social. All right, okay, so for the Perseverance Mind Map, Either find your mind map from last week if you've already started it, and if you haven't, go ahead and turn to a blank notes page or a scratch paper or whatever, um, wherever you have like a blank page so you can start creating your mind map. Um, so there's five different weeks and we are on week three, believe it or not. I know <laughs> October is zooming by. So for this week, we're going to focus on how perseverance means, how did it feel historically? So this is the time where we kind of think back on our past and think about how we've persevered historically. 
Um, think about a challenging moment or a time where you really showed up for yourself and had that determination and that belief in yourself that kept you going. Um, one of the moments that pops in my mind is when I struggled academically in um, college, in my undergrad, in my sophomore year. Um, and despite my best efforts, I just did not do well in the class. And it really threw me off. And I considered not um, just maybe taking some time off from school or refiguring out what to do. But instead, I doubled down. I just decided to change my major, add an engineering minor. Um, and I was like basically doubling the workload, actually. And um, I really showed up for myself. And that's what perseverance means, this determination that you know you are good enough and that you can you can always just power through. Um, so it's always nice to remember those moments that you showed up for yourself. So I encourage you to um, take some time. I'll give you a few, mi few minutes to um, reflect on how you've persevered historically and how did it feel. And we'll regroup in a few minutes. Thank you for sharing in the chat. 
Um, I know perseverance can be a tough topic, um, but it's all about kind of how we interpret the um, word perseverance. I love the way Cheryl um, defined it. Perseverance doesn't mean things will always work out the way we wanted or thought, but rather we use these moments to define ourselves and possibly choose a new path and keep going. That's a beautiful, beautiful way of looking at perseverance. Um, so thank you all so, so much for kind of reflecting on what perseverance means. Um, there is just a lot. I know this This is a great, great um, uh, theme and it is, it can be overwhelming to think about the moments we had to persevere, but um, it should just make you reflect on the strength that is within you um, to keep on going. So um, let me um, now move to Rosebud Thorn. Um, so for this Rosebud Thorn, we are on, let's see, page 44 for this Rosebud Thorn. So um, turn to page 44. Um, and for your Rosebud Thorn, um, your rose is going to be something that's going well, a highlight or something that you're grateful for. Um, your bud is something that you're looking forward to, an emerging opportunity. Um, and your thorn is um, a challenge or something that you've been struggling with. Um, so I will start, I will, I always like to share my rosebud thorn with all of you. Um, I will start off with my thorn. So I had a um, pretty serious relationship and I went through a really unexpected and difficult breakup last week. Um, it was over the phone. It was not in person. It was kind of out of the blue. Um, and then we just haven't spoken since. And it was very, very hard and really, really tough. I don't think I've been in that situation um, in a, like ever. And so it was really blindsiding, really tough. Um, a huge challenge and not something that was easy to go through. Um, and then a bud is I am kind of just going forward. I'm going to commit to my thank you guys. <laughs> I know it is not easy to go through. It's never easy. Um, but my bud is I'm going to focus on myself and what makes me happy and right now that just means just not really dating. I don't think it's like a good time. Um, and then my rose is, I'm so grateful for my girlfriends. Um, they are so sweet. They've sent me these flowers. <laughs> so I'm very, very grateful um, just to have people in my life that I can turn to in hard times. So I'll give you all some time to reflect on your rosebud thorn.
All right. Thank you all so much for sharing your rosebud thorn. Um, even though those thorns can always serve as a challenge to us, um, it's important to remember that we also have things that are going well and um, just remember that life is about the ebbs and flows. So, and once again, thank you all so much for your kind <laughs> words in the chat. That was very, very sweet. Um, all right, we will now move on um, to what we all came here for, which is the weekly setup. So um, we will turn to page 46. So um, go ahead and flip that page and we will start off with that first box. So um, this week, I want to feel, think about as we reflected on our past week of our rosebud thorn, um, think about how you want to feel this week. Um, so here is a feelings wheel, um, but you can also see some examples here. Um, it doesn't have to be one word. It can be a phrase. It can be whatever you want to feel. Set your intention for the week. So I invite you all to type in the chat once you've figured out what that word is. Um, what do you, how do you want to feel this week? Um, I see strong, productive, happy, aligned, um, empowered, um, ready, healthy, satisfied, compassionate, prepared, sparkling, um, confident, empowered and appreciated, loved. Um, productive, motivated, self-controlled, accomplished, relaxed, intentional, um, not scared, inspired, satisfied, optimistic, balanced, like I'm making progress, um, restored and connected, abundant, uh, delighted, unbothered, like I'm showing up for myself. Love it. These are all such, such great intentions for the week. Um, and I'm really proud of you for figuring out what that word is, what that feeling is, and um, writing it down. All right, we will now move on to the weekly major three goals. So for this section, um, you can, of course, choose any three goals that you want to uh, accomplish this week, but you can also um, set it, uh, just kind of see what goals can match that intention that you wrote down for how you want to feel. Um, so you can definitely um, structure it that way. So you can see some examples. Uh, we have an example that says someone wants to feel energized in their work, body, and mind. So they had three goals that would make them energized in those three areas. Um, so you can definitely do that. You can also just have any three goals. Um, so here you can see one of my examples um, with the one with the roses. Those are just three goals that I wanted to accomplish that week. Um, you can also repurpose the section however you feel. Um, maybe you want to put a quote, maybe you want to put a sticker, whatever is calling you. Um, so I'll give you all a few minutes to write down your weekly major three goals. And if you feel inclined, definitely share with us one or all three of your goals this week. Um, and we'll regroup in a little bit.
All right. Thank you all for sharing your goals this week. Um, the first step to accomplishing those goals is identifying them. So great job. You're already setting yourselves up. Um, we will now move on to the weekly to-do section. So um, here is a few different ways you can um, set up your to-dos. So I'll walk you through a few different ways. Of course, you can use um, the like just kind of standard format, just bullet out some to-do items that you have for the week, um, but you can also structure it in a different way. So um, you can set it up as an Eisenhower matrix, which is this matrix here. It'll help you prioritize maybe your to-do. So maybe you have some decisions to make, things to do, things you can delegate and things you can remove as like that don't serve you. Um, and it helps you identify what's urgent and what's important. So, um, for example, something in the delete column would be um, scrolling on TikTok or Instagram or whatever. And then something that you could delegate is maybe there's somebody in your life or somebody in your home that can help you with some chores. Um, something that some decisions you need to make are, is there anything that you need to do in your, in your future? Um, what can you do that doesn't really require a deadline and things that you actually need to do? So it's a great way to kind of structure it a little bit, um, get a little bit more um, kind of tangible on what's urgent and what's important. Um, and then you can also see a few of my examples on the right. Um, the bottom one is a great way to do it too. So if you have a lot going on and you want to structure it so that it's uh, per uh, category, like kind of life category in a way is the best way to describe it. So it could be um, something that you're working on, maybe your education, um, your job, your personal life, your health goals, whatever it may be. Um, you could definitely structure it that way as well. Um, another few ways I will walk you through is this um, option of the need, want, hope to do list. Um, so this is a great way to structure it if you would like, um, if you are almost in like that dreamer state and you want to structure like some things that you wish you could do, something that you want to do, something that you need to do. Um, I love this. Um, I like it. it's a little bit more fun. It's more dreamy. It's cool. Um, it's a good way to structure your to-dos. Um, I also love these options. You can always make it into a bingo board um, and you can always use stickers or color it in as you complete the task. So that's always a fun way to um, make it almost like a game. So you can set up your to-dos in, in, in more of like a grid format. You can also um, maybe use a section to write out your morning and evening routine if you wanna really focus on that. Um, that's a great way to repurpose the section. Um, another option is to do a to-do to-da list. Um, to-da basically means giving yourself that extra validation or that gold star um, when you do something challenging in your week. So there's a couple different ways that you can set up your to-do section. Um, you can definitely structure it however you'd like, um, but I'll give you all a few minutes for you um, to write out your to-dos for the week um, and tell us if there's any other way that you set up your to-do section. Um, I'd love to hear how you all are setting it up on your end.
All right. Thank you all for setting up your to-do um, section. We'll now move on to the habit and activity section below. Um, so here we have a few different ways you can set this up. Um, so I typically use a section to write out which habits I want to track for the week. They're typically different than my monthly habits, um, but it, it can also be the same if you'd like to just have it tracked on two pages. Um, you can also use a section to kind of identify, I love this example, they wanted to use a section for like almost like a metrics. Uh, so if they're tracking their weight, they're measuring themselves um, and they're writing it down in that bubble, I think that's a very creative way to do it. Um, you can also um, just cross it off the way I do. You can see my examples below. Sometimes I put a goal, but sometimes most of the time I don't. Um, and because I just try to just do the best I can and I can't fill out every bubble and that's not the goal. The goal is to do the best that I can. Um, so that is kind of what I do. Um, you can definitely put chores on here. Like maybe you have like a routine. I think that's a cool way to set up the habit and activity section. Maybe you have a few things that you want to do every evening or every morning. Um, it's a cool way to structure your routine. Um, so that's a good way to do it. You can also just make it like some of your health goals. Mine is typically like my health and wellness goals for the week. So I write those out. Um, but yeah, so I will give you a minute or two to set up your habit and activity section. And just remember that this is the section that you need to give yourselves grace on. It's not about filling out every bubble or checking every box. It's truly about um, just doing the very best that you can. Um, and it's okay if you can't do every habit every single day of the week. Uh, life is anything but consistent. So um, you just need to remember to forgive yourself if you don't finish that habit, it is okay. Um, so yeah, so I'll give you all a few minutes to set up this section and then we'll move on to the next page.
All right, um, we will now move on to the next page for the meal plan. So um, go ahead and turn to page 47. Um, and here are a few different ways you can set up your meal plan. Of course, you could use it for its intended purpose. Maybe you are a big food prepper um, and you want to kind of just write out the meals that you want for the week. You can go ahead and do that. You can also use this as a food log if you'd like. Um, you can definitely use it in that way. Like I've done that in the past because just because I don't cook every single one of my meals. Um, so sometimes I just use it as a place where I can um, log my nutrition um, and write it out there. Sometimes I use a section as a place where I can put my daily affirmations, which I get from the Silk and Sonder app. Um, you can also use this as, as a section where you can reflect. Um, maybe when you journal in the evening or journal in the morning, you can um, write out how your day went, maybe a sentence or two. Um, you can also use this section as a place where you maybe want to reflect on the seven types of rest, um, physical, mental, sensory, creative, emotional, social, and spiritual. Um, you can also use this section as a place where you can maybe split up your big chore for the week. So I love this example of maybe you have a lot to clean, you have to clean the whole house, but set it up so that each day you're focusing on one area. So it's less daunting and requires less of a bulk of time and maybe 10 minutes or 20 minutes um, each day um, and building that kind of uh, just over time, it'll all be clean. Another option is maybe you have a um, something coming up or an event coming up or a vacation coming up and you want to use this section as an outfit planner for um, your week, you can definitely use it in that way as well. So it's really a blank canvas. Um, you can definitely use it in multiple different ways. People get really creative with these sections. So go ahead and set it up your the way you would like to. Um, so tell us in the chat if you have any other ways you're setting this up, um, I think that's a great way. Um, just it's always fun to see how you all um, set up your meal plan section because I know it gets repurposed heavily. Um, so I'll give you all a few minutes and then we'll move on to the mind body health plan next.
All right. Thank you all for sharing how you're setting it up. Oh, I love Cheryl's way. Um, she's actually going to set this up of appointments. Oh, and how long uh, she's practicing Duolingo. That's a very creative way to do it. Um, and then a, a lot of us are leaving this blank. That's totally fine. Maybe see what you want to use a section for or just let it be. I love it. Um, but I love all the goals. There's a lot of people that use this for meal planning, which is great. You all are inspiring me. Maybe I'll plan out my dinners this week so that I feel less anxious about what I'm going to eat that day. <laughs> um, all right. I will now move us on to the mind body health plan. Um, so for the mind body health plan, you can set it up however you'd like. I typically like to put my workouts in here, but obviously um, I did this last week, but just given everything that happened, um, I kind of got thrown off from my, um, oops, this is shopping list, uh, my body health plan. Um, so my workout routine did not fully, I did not fully commit to it just because I had a little bit of an emotional week. Um, but I think this week I'm going to use it for not just physical workouts, but also just kind of putting myself in a little bit of a reset because I could definitely use that. Um, so thinking about all the fall vibes, what's going to give me that cozy, warm feeling? Is it curling up with a good book? Is it giving myself a little bit of a mani-pedi? Um, is it going to watch a fall movie? Um, is it going to be um, doing a little bit of a yoga class? Um, what is going to kind of get me reset? Um, so that's a great way to use this section. So um, definitely think about what you want to put in your mind, body, health plan. It doesn't always have to be physical wellness. It can also be mental, emotional, um, spiritual wellness. So definitely keep all of that in mind as you make your wellness plan. Um, and uh, I'll give you all a few minutes to fill out your mind body health plan.
All right, we will now move on to the shopping list section, which is truly a blank box. So maybe you have a lot of shopping to do. Go ahead and write it down, whether it be groceries, your Amazon list, uh, your online shopping list, whatever it may be. Um, but you can also use this as a um, true blank box. So maybe you want to add a little bit of reflection here. Maybe you want to put a sticker here, a quote. Um, you could also use a section as another bingo board. Um, you can use a section for chores. Maybe you have things that you need to do. Um, I've used a section all different kinds of ways. Um, so it's truly a blank box and it can be used um, however you'd like. Um, so think about how you want to use the shopping list section um, and go ahead and fill it out and tell us in the chat if there's another way that you like to, you like to set up the shopping list. Um, I think this week I'm going to use it as a motivational sticker or a motivational quote um, just to kind of set my intention for the week. So, um, I'd love to hear from each and every one of you, how you're setting up your shopping list section this week. I'll give you all a few minutes and then we'll regroup for the, I am loving section, which is remaining. All right. Thank you all for sharing how you're setting up your shopping list. We'll now move on to that last little box at the bottom, which is the I am loving section. Um, so maybe you just close your eyes for a little bit, sit, roll your shoulders back, get comfortable in wherever you're sitting um, and think about what you're currently loving in your life. Um, so I know I'm loving uh, just kind of having this time to reflect and just carve out what I really want to do without, um, you know, just focusing on myself this week and love that I have so many people in my life that I'm so grateful for. So um, that is what I'm truly loving. Um, and I'm also loving just being in uh, nature. It was so beautiful to be up in Napa this week. So this weekend and see all the color, all the trees changing. It's just so beautiful to get out. So um, I would love for all of you to share. I see um, so many people are sharing in the chat. Um, I am loving my spirit. Um, I am loving the beautifully colored leaves, sweet kitten cuddles, feeling more in touch with my feelings. I'm trying a new recipe each week. That's so exciting. Um, and loving the fall vibes, reading more, cooler temperatures, freedom. 
Um, all the one and a half year olds new words every day. That's so exciting. Um, exploration of wants versus needs. Um, walk away from what no longer serves me. I love that. Um, this is beautiful, 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 beautiful. Thank you all so, so much for sharing what you're loving in your life. Um, and it's always fun to just get a glimpse of what is going well in your life, what you're currently loving. I feel like there's so many things that go on in our lives, but it's nice to reflect what we are truly, truly loving. Um, so I will give you all, um, I will also just share my uh, playlist. I saw that that was requested. Um, so let me go ahead and copy my link to my playlist. And um, before we um, leave, just remember to share your weekly planner in Sonder Club. Uh, we love, love, love to see your pages. As you can see, all those examples that I shared are the ones from each and every one of you. So feel free to share how you set up your pages. Um, I love taking a peek at how your journals are set up. So make sure to share those in Sonder Club. And here we have some QR codes. We do have the referral program going on. So if you love Silk and Sonder and you know somebody else that would love Silk and Sonder, go ahead and share that with them um, through that referral program. Also, if you're not on the annual subscription, make sure to take advantage of it. You could be saving a ton of money. So um, make sure to set, um, if you, haven't spot your annual subscription it might be a great switch um if you think silk and sonder is do is just been a great tool to use in your life um and then also as i uh, mentioned make sure to download that silk and sonder app that's how we connect with each other outside of these socials so make sure to um download the app and then bailey also dropped in that youtube link in the chat so that houses a lot of our past sonder social content so um, make sure to check that out as well if you feel so inclined. But thank you all once again so, so much for everything. Um, I had a great time with you all this past hour. You've all put in the hard work for your week. So um, you will have a great, great, great week ahead. So thank you all so, so much. And um, I will see you at the next one. Thanks, everybody.